Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, we'll learn how to manage our YouTube playlists with Python. So YouTube being the number one social platform today with more than 250 million hours of video watch time on YouTube every single day. I'm pretty sure most people have a bunch of playlists sitting around that you don't even know they exist. So I decided why not to write a simple program using Python to help us to manage our YouTube playlists. Now open your code editor and create a blank script. And I'll name my script demo.py. So I'll be using a YouTube data API to manage my YouTube playlists. And if I'm new to Google API or YouTube API, then you can watch the uh, introduction video on how to get started with uh, Google API from the link in the description below. Now I want to dive into YouTube data API's documentation real quick. So go to the description and grab the uh, URL to the uh, documentation. And for this program, I'll be using playlists as a resource. And under this resource, we can treat that as a class. I will have four different methods, list, insert, update, and delete. Now let me go into my Python script. All right, so I create a module called u2.py and let me open the file first. And inside the u2 class, I create a simple methods to help us to simplify the uh, YouTube playlist management. And before diving into the actual tutorial, make sure that you grab the source code from the link in the description below. Now let me go back to demo.py. I'm going to start by inputting the YouTube class from the uh, YouTube module and increase the font size. And next, I'll create a variable called client file to store the uh, file path to point to my client secret file. Now I'm going to create an instance of YouTube object. And I'll pass my client file variable to the uh, YouTube class. And this is one of the required uh, parameters. And I'll name the output as YT stands for YouTube. Now I need to initialize the service using the init service method. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, run this code block. Now I'm getting a name here. Let me take a look. And this should be, uh, oh. So here in line two, I have this uh, import statement, which I should include. All right, so let me save the file and let me re-import the uh, U2 class. And this time I'm not getting any error. Now let me rerun uh, these three lines. Now let me go back to demo.py real quick. All right, so here I'm creating my U2 object. Then using the init service, I'm basically uh, initialize a U2 uh, service instance. And if this is the first time you're authenticating your account, then you're going to uh, choose the account that I want to use. And I'm going to choose my uh, one of the secondary account. Now on this Google hasn't verified this app page, click on events, then click on this link to proceed. Now we need to grant permission to the app. So I'm going to click on both checkboxes then click on continue. And once the authentication uh, is complete, you should see this message. The authentication flow has complete. You may close this window. I'm going to close the tab. Now for this exercise, I'll show you four examples. Here, let me uh, insert the notes. I'll show you how to list all your playlists uh, in your account. Then I'll show you how to create a playlist then I'll show you how to update a playlist. And finally, we're going to learn how to delete a playlist. Now, let me navigate to my YouTube account. Now, under my account, I have, let's see, I have two playlists. You can tell how many playlists you have from the uh, left side panel. And I have two playlists currently. Now, to list your playlists, so if you want to reference the uh, YouTube option, then run the my playlists method. And if I run line eight, and if I print my playlists, and it's going to return a list. Now if I use the learn function to print my uh, playlists count, and that gives me two, meaning that I have two playlists in my account. Now let's just look at the uh, first element from my playlists uh, list. 
All right, so if I print line 11 to line 16. So these are some of the information that we can access, such as uh, playlist ID, playlist snippet, status, content details, and player. So this player value will basically return the uh, embedded HTML uh, source code, which you can uh, copy and paste to your website uh, if you have one. And status indicates that uh, whether or not if your playlist is public, on list, or private. And snippet will basically return a playlist's uh, details, such as the playlist title, description, uh, when is the playlist created, and so on. And content details will return how many videos you can have under that particular playlist. Now let's go to example two, which is to uh, create a brand new playlist. All right, so here I'm going to copy paste the uh, code snippet. So to create a playlist, we want to uh, use the create playlist method. And we'll provide the uh, playlist title, description, and the playlist uh, privacy setting. So I'm going to uh, set the privacy to on list. In case if you want to know all the uh, fields that are available, you can go to data APIs uh, documentation under playlists overview. And if you scroll down, so here's the uh, JSON representation for the playlists object. Now let me go ahead and execute line 19 and 20. All right, so uh, this line here will create a brand new playlist. If I print response underscore playlist, and it's going to return the uh, metadata associated to the playlist that I just created. Now here I want to store the uh, playlist ID into a variable called playlist ID. So these two lines are actually not necessary uh, in this case. All right, so if I print uh, playlist ID, so this string here is the playlist ID that we'll be using later on to update and delete a playlist. Now, if I go into my YouTube channel and refresh the page, and here's the favorite channel's playlist that I just created. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So here's the uh, privacy setting. So we have uh, three options, public, on list, and private. And here's the uh, description. And I haven't added any uh, videos to this playlist, and which I'll do that in a separate video. But for now, I want to focus on how to uh, manage playlists. Now let's say I want to update my playlist's uh, metadata, such as my uh, playlist title or description, or even privacy setting. So here we can use uh, u2.update playlist method and it'll provide the playlist ID. Now I want to go back to the update playlist method real quick. Now if we look at the uh, update playlist method, so we have four parameters, playlist ID, title, uh, and two optional parameters, description and privacy status. Now here from my update playlist method, I'm only providing uh, two parameter values or arguments. So when I run uh, line 24 here, now if we look at the uh, message output, so here with the playlist ID, the uh, updated title. Now noticing that for description and status, I set to none. But when we go back to our uh, YouTube playlist, now noticing that the description is now erased and the privacy setting is untouched. So that's just some of the uh, default behavior uh, from this uh, update pillars method. So the description will get uh, override by the uh, method itself and the uh, privacy setting is going to get untouched. Uh, just keep that in mind. Now finally, uh, to delete a playlist, I'll simply run u2.delete playlist and I'll provide the uh, playlist ID and run the method. Now if I go back and refresh the page, now the playlist is now deleted. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video and hopefully you guys found this video as well. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.